Hey everybody, Ed Holmwood, Old Guy Hi-Fi Channel. I hope everyone's doing well today. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at a TAC turntable. It's an interesting product. Um, it's got a really interesting tone arm bearing and I wanted to talk about that. And it's gonna be on sale for Black Friday. So sit back, relax, and we're gonna talk about this interesting little turntable. Old Guy Hi-Fi talking true. Stereo dreams he shares with you. So the TAC TN3B SE turntable, it is beautiful. Look at it, it's really a nice piece of audio jewelry and it's really well made as well. Now currently it is sell, sells for $529, but hint, on Black Friday, I think through the 3rd of December, it's gonna be $399. And I think they may do it again later, closer to Christmas, but at $399, it becomes a compelling buy. It is really well made. It has a, a solid MDF plinth. It has a, this interesting honeycomb pattern underneath that helps reduce resonances, but it also has very good isolation feet. They're machined aluminum cups with this compliant rubber, silicone, some sort of material that does a really good job of isolating this from vibration. It is an aluminum platter, belt drive, excellent speed regulation. I took it out of the box, put my RPM meter from my phone on it, boom, 33 and a third dead on. When I went to 45, 45.1 dead on, that's as good as you can expect. Really well constructed. So that's the uh, really, really nice. The tone arm is where there's some really interesting technology. We're going to talk about that in a second. But this, again, on Black Friday sale, if you're looking for your first turntable or you're looking for a gift for someone, this is very good. The built-in internal phono preamp actually performs quite well, better than I expected. And of course, if you wanna grow, you can change cartridges, you can change phono preamps, and I did actually change cartridges. This does have a removable head shell, and it comes with an AT, VM95E, which is an elliptical cartridge, it's actually very good. I actually prefer the sound of that to any of the Ortofon OM uh, red or blue cartridges. Um, I did roll in and I used an external phono preamp for this. I did use my AT540ML, which is a microline cartridge, about a $350 cartridge. And then I used my new AT OX, excuse me, OC9 XEN moving coil cartridge, and it performed very, very well on this turntable. I was very pleased. And again, I had to use an external phono preamp because the internal phono preamp on this does not do moving coil, it only does moving magnet. So I used to actually used the Cambridge Alva uh, Duo uh, phono preamp for it, and it performed very, very well. So great, it is upgradable. You can take it on your journey with you and upgrade. Now, let's talk about the tone arm. The tone arm is really, really interesting. It, it, it uses, it's a, it's a new kind of, most of us are used to seeing, if we're familiar with turntables, and I'm making a big assumption there, a gimbal bearing, which is roller bearings in a housing and around a, a like, kind of like an axle or a, or a, a spindle. Um, this uses what's called a knife edge bearing. It was developed by a very famous Japanese tone arm manufacturer, SAE, SAEC, and they work together with TIAC to create this knife edge bearing. And I'll be inserting pictures of all kinds of different stuff about the bearing here you'll see them but the interesting thing about the knife uh, edge bearing is it has the most of the, the least amount of surface area in touch in contact with the bearing race itself so there's very little chance of friction or drag affecting the up and down motion of the tone arm so that the tone arm can move appropriately you know some records may have just a little bit of a warp in them and you'll see the tone arm the a gimbal bearing obviously has to be lubricated and it can drag a little bit and cause a slowness or whatever and then it causes that the cantilever to compress into the cartridge a little bit this knife edge it because it is so precise and so thin in such a minimal contact area it just rides super smoothly it's really really nice so it it, add, it obviously creates a much better performing tone arm far better than you would normally expect at a price point like this. Those SAEC tone arms, some of those things are thousands and thousands of dollars. Um, but anyway, really well designed, really well executed, and did, it performed quite well for me. 
Two gripes about it, however. It does not have an auto stop when the tone arm reaches the run out groove of the record. It doesn't stop on its own. And if you lift the tone arm to put it on the record, it doesn't auto start the turntable. You have to actually come over here and physically switch it on or off. Those are the only two gripes. But you know what? I'm willing to put up with it for the level of performance that tone arm gave me. Really, really well done. Really, really pleased with it. And again, you know, Black Friday sale makes it very compelling. Anyway, I listen to a lot of different stuff. I listen to a bunch of vinyl. I'm not going to put it up here because it was just an ongoing thing. You know, some very, you know, I used my Mobile Fidelity, uh, Miles Davis, Kind of Blue 45s. I did my Mobile Fidelity Cars, the first album, which I love to death. Um, I also did a great one. Um, and if I can find a picture of it, I'll put it here. It's from called the, the Fusion uh, Syndicate, and it, Rick Wakeman's on it, and it's a bunch of prog rock guys. If I can find a picture of it, I will. If I won't, I'll take a picture of the album and insert it there for you. But I listened to a lot of different stuff over the last several weeks, and it performed quite well. Um, I was pleased with it, and I think at the $3.99 Black Friday price, it, it represents a good value, especially if you're looking for a gift or maybe something for yourself to treat yourself. Anyway, uh, TAC TN 3B SE. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a very nice product. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video and you'd be willing to give me a like and a subscribe. And if you wish to support the channel, there's a thank you button at the bottom of the video window. There's also a membership link in the pinned comment and in the video description. There also will be honestly affiliate link for this in the pinned comment and in the video description. But wait till Black Friday for if you're going to consider it. There are also other affiliate links in the video description. My playlists are there. Um, please continue to send me playlists. Check out our community post for playlists. It's been quite it, very good music on there. Please comment. Let me know. Are you in the market for a turntable? Do you have a turntable you like? Are you into vintage turntables? Are you into new turntables? What's your favorite kind of cartridge? You like moving magnet, moving coil, moving iron, high output moving coil, low output moving coil. Let me know. I'm interested in all of that kind of stuff. So anyway, please like, subscribe, comment. If you want to, you can follow me on Instagram. I think I've covered all the bases for the TAC TN 3B SE. My name's Ed Homewood. This is the Old Guy Hi-Fi channel. It's now your turn. It's your obligation to sit back, put on a really lovely record that you like and enjoy, and relax and enjoy the balance of your day. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. with you.